All right, let's get right into it. I'm gonna draw one of Santa's little helpers using just the basic shapes. Today I'm gonna to be drawing on my Samsung Tab S8 Ultra and using Krita. Krita is quickly becoming one of my favorite apps to draw in on my Android and it's free. One of my favorite and it's free, pretty hard to beat. First off, let's start with, uh, I'll start from the beginning. Pencil. Pencil and I'll be drawing this in red. Yep, red's a good one. Uh, I'll start off with his little short body. Let's do rectangle. And we're drawing light till we get it right. And put his noggin up here somewhere. Face will be pointing in that direction. Let's put some little eyeballs on here. And Brad. I, Brad's got some fun noses. Let's do a Brad nose on this, this guy. Just basically a rounded triangle. And he's going to need a coat. You know, instead of a coat, let's give him... I mean, we'll give him a coat, but also let's give him a scarf because it's cold. I, to be fair, I'm assuming it's cold. Everything that I've seen in the North Pole appears to be cold, so I would assume that it's rather frigid up there. So let's give him a scarf. Rectangles here, rectangles, square, or is not. Maybe we can even put just a slash through there to show it folded over. Let's have it hanging down, and we've got to have the other one hanging down a little bit there. Let's give him a hat. He's all bundled up nice and warm. That'll be the brim of his hat. And uh, little elf ears. I always picture my elves with little pointed ears, so let's give him some. These are basically like a little letter D. Here's his little pointy ears. Let's do a triangle up here. We're not going to have his hat pointing straight up in the air because they don't usually do that. Let's have it hanging a little bit. So we've got our one triangle here. Let's do a little, another triangle here. This is basically going to be hanging off to the side. Put a little circle of a little, uh, I don't know, a little puffy ball on the end there. We'll have his coat buttoned up on the side here. Of course we need his hands. Have his hands hanging down here and we'll give them a a little furry cuff. These ones will of course be on the other side of his coat because he's looking almost like a three-quarter turn to us looking off to the side. Let's give him a little cuff. Let's give him some thin little legs here. Of course these are just rectangles long rectangles. Let's do um, maybe some triangles for his boots right here and let's do some more cuffs. Furry little cuffs on those boots and to represent some sort of laces or something to buckle up those shoes we'll do little rectangles again. Now I hope you're keeping this really rough and instead of using your wrist for drawing, I hope you're really kind of using your arm, your arm, your elbow, your shoulder to get into this drawing. We'll do something to indicate his little hands down here. After a little half a ball there, a little half a ball there, let's do some little half circles just to represent fingers. There's a little bit of a thumb. Again, keep it rough, keep it light. We're going to want to draw something on this scarf so that it's not just so boring to look at. And let's do some hashing. Some quick hashing in here to just break up of the monotony in there. And also I like the scars with the little frills coming out the bottom of them. Alright, so they're f there so far. You know, let's work on these buttons too. Let's, let's give these buttons a little bit of depth. depth little bit of depth do some outlines around those and I think that's looking pretty good pretty good maybe I'll move this eyeball out a little more out of the nose and let's give him some eyebrows there we go there we go he might have some rosy cheeks here 
you don't necessarily need to do uh, draw that in but cool now let's go ahead and ink this guy let's give him I will change the opacity down here just a little bit add another layer switch to black use my favoriteest ink brush make sure that our size is correct yeah I think that'll work and let's start with his schnoz and again for me with inking I like to break up or not break up but have just different line width something to just really make make those lines just not so smooth I, there's a time and a place for smooth lines I don't care for them so much I don't like it roughing up his eyebrows here because he's an old soul there's brim of his hat there we go over that triangle and I'll, I'll give that uh, little wrinkle in there for that triangle of his hat go over to his ear you know what I'm going to give his ear because we're going to be able to see it a little bit out here so let's do that side of his face just comes down right there and we're just seeing the back of that ear here so that stays the same we'll start with his folded over scarf and put in our hatching there's a little scarf design you know what let's do some in here too because that is a different part of his scarf do the hatching for the little threads more hatching right there more hatching right there of course we got the back part do some hatching there there and a little bit under there all right let's go for his arm the little furry part of his uh, cuff I'll zoom in a little bit so I can see those buttons better there we go the places the lines that I'm going to be making a little bit thicker is of course going to be the ones that would probably be in the shadows so for his hand so this would all be in shadow and the other little furry cuff here finger 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 just a bunch of circles basically just going to put a little X to represent not represent uh, to show where that uh, little furry ball comes in contact with his hat because X marks the spot and X marks the spot and a little scribbles on the side to indicate some texture to it let's go with the cuffs of his boots and just just a very unkempt line to represent the texture of those furry boot covers his leg let's have a little bit of a shadow on those legs just a couple of line hatches to indicate shadow I'm gonna go ahead and draw in my laces or my straps on these boots there we go Santa's little helper I'm not gonna color them in you can color them in on your own I'm not very good with colors it's not what I do you do it oh my goodness do his arm there maybe a couple of little unkempt lines again to indicate texture for his arms there we go thank you once again for watching I look forward to talking to you and helping you out again on your next art project all right I'll talk to you later